In your previous classes, you have learned about bar graphs. In this chapter, we will discuss about histograms and pie charts. Now, let us start with histogram. Let us take an example and let us see how to draw a histogram. These are the marks obtained by 30 students in a class for mathematics examination. The mark was out of 50 and these are the marks scored by 30 students of that class. We have to make a histogram. To make a histogram, we have to make some class intervals. You see, can you tell me what is the maximum marks given here, the maximum marks? The maximum mark is 49. What is the minimum mark? Minimum mark is here we have 9, here we have 8. So 8 is the minimum mark. So the mark ranges from 8 to 49. So we have to make some class intervals to include all these marks. So the class intervals are, so first of all you have to write class interval. CA stands for class interval. So we have to take the class interval as 0 to 10. Then 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50. So the maximum mark is 50 out of 50. The examination is conducted. So the class interval is written 0 to 10, 10 to 20. Now can you tell me what do you call this 10? 10 is called the lower limit of second class interval. What is 20? upper limit of second class interval. So what is 40? Upper limit of fourth class interval. What is 40 here? Yes, lower limit of fifth class interval. Now one more question. If a student gets 10 marks, where will you include 10? Here or here? Yes, you have to include the marks in the second uh, class, second class interval. Okay. If a student gets 30, you should include that 30 in here, not here, in the fourth class interval you should include. Now you know how to write or how to draw tally marks. Now let us draw the tally marks and let us write the frequency table, tally marks. You know how to make a frequency distribution table using tally mark. You have learned in your lower classes. So class interval is given, tally marks we have to find, then the last column you get the frequency. Now the first one is 28. In which class interval 28 comes? 20 to 30. So here you have to make one mark. Then comes 42. 42 comes here. 44. It also comes here. 48 comes here. 26. It is here. 16. It is here. 26. It is here. 9. 0 to 10 isn't it? It comes here. 38. 30 to 40. 49, yes, it is here. 31, yes, 30 to 40. 39, where it will be, yes, 39. 38, here. 41, yes, it is here. It's already four marks. So the fifth one, you should make a cross like this. So it is five, okay. So it is 41 we have included. Now 29, 29 will be here. 31 will be here. So we have to make a cross, okay. Now 27. 27 is here. Yes, here also you have to make a cross. Okay. Then comes 26. Yes, it comes here. 29. Yes, comes here. 19. It is here. 33. 33 is here. 45. That is here. 18. Is here. 42. Yes. 8. Yes. 48. Comes here. 35. Yes. 37. Yes. 33, yes, 21, 21 comes here. Now let us write the frequency. Here 1 plus 1, 2, here 3, here 5 plus 3, that is 8, 5 plus 4, that is 9, 5 plus 3, that is 8. So what is the total frequency? 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 8, 13, 13 plus uh, 9, 22, 22 plus 8, that is 30. So we have included all the marks because the marks obtained by 30 students are given here. So it's 30. So our frequency distribution table is correct. Now we have to draw a histogram. To draw a histogram, 
on the y axis what you should mark you should mark the frequency so frequency should be included in the y axis and on x axis what you should include you should include the class interval on the x axis now what are the class intervals 0 to 10 10 to 20 etc so it is 0 let us up to 50 so let us make one unit as 10 okay so 10 20 30 40 50 now frequency should be represented on the y-axis you see maximum frequency is 9 so here if you want you can make 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 or let us make you know 2 4 6 8 okay 2 4 6 8 10 so in the first class interval 0 to 10 what is the frequency frequency is 2 so 0 to 10 the frequency is 2 okay 10 to 20 frequency is 3 10 to 20 corresponding to 20, 10 to 20 frequency is 3 it is 2 it is 4 so 3 will be in between isn't it so this is this is 2 what is this this is 3 so 10 to 20 3 20 to 30 8 20 to 30 8 it is here isn't it so yes 20 to 30 8 then comes 30 to 49 30 to 49 it is 8 so the center that will be 9 okay yes then 40 to 58 again 8 it is here so this is how you have to draw a histogram so there is no gap between the class interval when you draw a histogram there is no gap so this is how you have to draw a histogram now we will solve more problems of this type when we do NCRT solutions. Now we will discuss about pie chart or it is also known as circle graph. Now here what you are doing is you know what is the angle around a point. Angle around a point is 360 degree. So when you measure the all angles in a circle what you will be getting you will be getting 360 degree. So in pie chart or in circle graph what we do is the information that is given that will be divided into small small sectors so that each sector will correspond to the given information for example let us do one example and let us understand how to draw a pie chart here you are given uh, the food that is liked by uh, different people you see 120 people are surveyed and out of this 120 people 30 people like um, North Indian food, 40 people like South Indian food, then 25 people like Chinese food and the other 25 people like different types, other categories. So total how many people are surveyed? 120 people are surveyed. Now what you are going to do? We are going to convert this information into a pie chart. So before converting this into a pie chart, we should assign the degree measure for each item total 120 is there so you see north indian food is liked by how many people 30 people out of 120 so the fraction is 30 by 120 30 out of 120 people like north indian food now this has to be converted into pie chart so we have to convert this into degree measure for that we should multiply this by 360 degree because angle around a point that is 360 degree so what you will be getting 360 120 get cancelled three times three 120s are 360 so 30 into 3 that is 90 degree so the north indian food corresponds to 90 degree in a pie chart okay now second one is south indian food what's the fraction south indian food is liked by 40 people out of 120 that is 40 by 120 now you have to convert this into pie chart so you have to convert this into degree measure so you have to multiply by 360 degree so what is the answer yes again you can cancel by 3 3 4 are 120 degree now next one is chinese food what is the fraction 
yes 25 out of 120 into 360 what will be getting 3 3 25 is a 75 degree now others that is also is equal to 25 out of 120 you have to convert into sector so you have to multiply by 360 cancel 3 325 is a 75 degree now when you add all these what you will be getting you will be getting 360 degree you see now you add 90 plus 120 you get 210 75 plus 75 150 150 plus 210 360 okay now we are going to convert this into a pie chart for that what you have to do take a compass and you draw a circle of any radius so i have drawn a circle here now there will be a center you know that now you have to include all these degrees in the pie chart for that you just draw a line okay now what you have to do use the protractor to measure 90 degree from here keep the protractor here and you measure 90 degree so this is 90 degree and this corresponds to what this corresponds to north indian foot north indian foot that is how many degree yes 90 degree next one is 120 degree what you have to do keep the protractor here keep the protractor here you have to go for 120 90 will be here yes it will be around 120 degree so this is 90 this is what this is 120 so this area corresponds to what this area corresponds to south indian foot south indian foot 120 degree then comes chinese foot 75 degree keep the protractor here like this you have to keep the protractor you have to go for 75 degree so this will be around 75 degree so this 75 degree goes for chinese foot now the remaining will be 75 okay so this 75 goes to yes other type of foods other foods so this is how we have to represent the given information using a pie chart so first of all what you have to do you have to find the fraction north indian foot is liked by 30 out of 120 so you get the fraction that should be multiplied by 360 degree because you are going to represent this information in a pie chart so when you add all these points all these angles what do you get you get 360 degree so we found what is the share of north indian foot in a pie chart what is the share of South Indian food in a pie chart? What is the share of Chinese and other type of foods in a pie chart?